first thing to learn when you're building a relationship is to know their name. Would you get married to somebody you don't know their name? Y'all don't hear me? I said, would you get married to somebody that you don't know their name? And the church is supposed to be the bride of Christ. It is the bride of Christ. And Jesus is the bridegroom. You don't know his name? You don't know how to use his name? You don't know what is in his name? I don't know about you, but before you get married to somebody, run a background check. Run a background check. Check them out before you say I do. Because you don't want to marry the devil's son or the devil's daughter. Oh God. Hallelujah. So if you're going to get married to Jesus and he is the bridegroom and we are the bride, get to know the bridegroom name. And when you marry somebody, know their worth. I said know their worth. Y'all don't hear me? I said know their worth. If the church is the bride, that means she is the, the female gender. Y'all don't hear me? I said she is the female gender. And a bride don't want somebody who can't take care of them. Can the lady say amen? I thought I woke wake you up. I said, uh, the bride don't want somebody who cannot take care of them. And let the lady say amen again. You want to know that the man you're going to get married to got your best interests. You want to know that they can take care of you in good times, bad times, hard times. You want to know that they're going to be there regardless of what you go through. This is why Jesus said to the church and to you, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. Can somebody shout hallelujah in here? Okay. Let the ladies say amen. Okay, sit down ladies. I'm coming down your alley. Hey! Hallelujah. And the Lord said to the women, the bride, obey. Reverence your husband. Put on a meek and quiet spirit. For in the sight of God is a great price. Honor him. Reverence him. Obey him. Which is in God's sight. And honor him in a great price. And let the men say amen. Word says to all, submit 
yourselves to one another. In other words, it's a life of submission. The man has no has authority over his wife, and the wife has authority over her husband. Okay. Okay. Let the men say, Amen. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus is the family name. The Lord is saying to us, and this is not funny. <laughs> he said, I give you my name. And there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. In other words, you can't be saved without my name. No one come to the Father but by me. Praise the name of our God. In other words, something that God does and most things that he does, everything that he does, there is no other option. Is one way. Praise the name of our God. Let me tell you something. If you remember, when God manifests himself to Moses on the backside of the mountain, praise the name of our God, God said to Moses, I want you to go into Egypt and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. And Moses, in so many words, said to God, said, God, when I get there, the Israelites or your people are going to ask me, what is my God's name? What shall I tell them? And God said, just tell them, I am sent you. Tell them I am. 